In this video, I want to talk about Sky Plus, which gives you a sky and lighting setup for your scenes. It is technically not a traditional add-on, because there is nothing to install. Instead, it is provided as a fully procedural world shader, which you can load from Blender's asset library. The idea is to let you easily create realistic skies, complete with sun, atmosphere, and even stars. Of course, without wrestling with a lot of complex settings. In fact, the developer emphasizes that Sky Plus is built to be extremely intuitive for all skill levels, with no complicated jargon or fiddling around. Think of it as a user-friendly sky system that you can drop into your scene and instantly enhance the environment lighting and mood. So how does it work and what can it do exactly? First of all, during the daytime, it takes Blender built-in physical sky and gives it a serious upgrade. You get control over things like the sky's color and the haze around the sun, meaning you can dial anything, from a crisp clear noon to a smoky golden sunset by tweaking a few sliders. There's also a custom density setting that simulates atmospheric effects like dust, fog, pollution, you name it, which will block the light and make the sunlight scatter into rich orange-red tones at low angles, like what you can see in real sunsets. And speaking of the sun, the shader includes its own sunlight and works in both EV and cycles, with complete adjustability when it comes to brightness. You can even tweak how intense it looks versus how much it lights the scene, in addition to a color temperature slider for fine-tuning the sunlight's warmth. But Sky Plus doesn't actually stop when the sun goes down. It also gives you a feature-packed night sky, essentially giving you a full dark mode for your scenes. You see, at night you will get a realistic moon, with phases that automatically follow the sun's position, just like what you can see in nature, and a sky full of stars overhead. So you have control over the moon's brightness and colors too. So you can decide how much moonlight to cast on your scene, and the stars are completely procedural and even include a subtle Milky Way band. You can adjust distribution and intensity of the star field, and even rotate the entire starry sky to line up the North Star whenever you need it. And one of the interesting extras has to be the Aurora Borealis. So the add-on can generate gorgeous flowing auroras, which are both volumetric and run in real time, which can add an epic touch to those midnight renders. And the good thing is that Sky Plus is built to be flexible. I mean, it works in both EV and cycles, so it can be great for skylighting whether you are doing quick real-time previews or high-quality final renders, meaning you can do it in both cycles and EV. Also the good thing, the sky shader is designed to look consistent across different engines. For instance, it adds a proper sun disk that even EV can display, which is something that Blender's default sky doesn't actually support. And because it is all procedural, you can freely animate the sky and lighting. This is great for scene renders where you want an extra time of day mood, or for animations where the scene transitions from day to night smoothly over time. And even complex effects like auroras are optimized to run in real time, meaning you can see them dance in the viewport with minimal lag. And from what I can see, all these features I think make Sky Plus a standout Blender add-on or Blender tool when it comes to lighting, including the sky, the sun, and even the stars. I like using a static HDRI image or Blender's basic sky texture. So the shader gives you a living, customizable sky that can light your scenes 24 hours a day. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.